makes menopause. This month of February, um, it's all about um, love and going through the menopause. We really forget to love ourselves and, and it's really important. I just want to introduce you to my BF, my best friend Neely Moore. She is a reflexology, she is a spiritual facial healer. Um, Neely? Hi. <laughs> And she's got this beautiful baby in her tummy. I'm going to be 37 weeks pregnant. But talking, um, you know, just about me being a reflexologist or a holistic practitioner and, you know, reflexology is really good to help you with anxiety to relax and to just, you know, get heart-centred and grounded in, in your body again. So one of the topics that I really wanted to um, discuss is that I found that um, being in the menopause, I felt that like I was in like a sandwich effect. I felt like I had all the worry of Aeneas doing a GCSEs and then I had worrying my mum passed away, I was worrying about my dad mm -hmm. and I really felt like I was in this like sandwich effect and it just seemed like I couldn't find anywhere out. And um, I just wanted to know if you've got any advice for women who are feeling like this, um, and for me. Yeah, I think, you know, press the pause button. You know, pe press the pause button, breathe, and, you know, mm. get connected to your heart again. Because at the end of the day, we kind of like have two choices in life. We either act out of fear or we act out of love. Mm, really good, I love that. That's really good. What we're saying is like, you know, try and do the pause button and then, you know, breathe and just, you know, just think about yourself. Just take a step out. Don't get too overwhelmed by life because we get overwhelmed. And then once we get overwhelmed, the anxiety, everything will kick in. And once that ball gets rolling, there's no stopping it. So Neely, some ideas of um, how we can give self-love and help ourselves when we're feeling like this. What would you want to tell mm. my menos? Mm. Well, for me, that you know, the whole mind, body, and soul is you know so important to connect to. And of course, with the body, we have things like you know Epsom salt baths and yoga and meditation. But for me, my greatest sort of self loving growth has, has been about my relationship with my thinking, mm, my mind, you get that. and uh, you know that critical self-talk that we have, you know those limited beliefs mm. that we have, you know and just sort of reframing, you know reframing our thinking that you know we're not coming from our head but we're really coming from our heart and mm. it's a place of, 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 of feeling centered and whole and enough and that's know, so just beautiful a, yeah it's really true it's yeah and I just think that's what we should look at because women like when my mind is going and I it's a domino effect then all of a sudden that would just spiral and then I'll stop worrying and then I think about bills and then I'm worrying about this and then that and then before I know it I haven't breathed I haven't thought about Meg I, I've just like just gone so life life takes over right. and we just have to remember to stop and breathe and just you know even if you're sitting on a bus or on a tube or you're going to work just sit close your eyes for a minute take a breath just sort of Put that time when you're traveling to work to, you know, make sure your bag's safe, of course, but just <laughs> breathe and just, you know, put your plugs in, listen to an app, whatever you can do, mm. you know. It's about um, leaving the mind and dropping into the heart. Yeah, and being connected with your heart, it feels amazing. So, um, Neely, I talk to you every day, so, you know, when I said to share with someone or talk to someone, I go to Neely and we talk every single day and it's so important to do that. So if you find a best friend or someone and I usually do it in the morning and we just talk and we talk about whatever's on our mind and we just open up, it's just to get the conversation flowing and you won't believe that before you know it, the things that really need to come up will just come up and then once you once i've let them out and the problem shared is a problem ed is so true it's one of the truest sayings that my mum used to say to me mm. so any what do you think any other things that you want to put in there other mm. than your great 
<laughs> they do, they're, they're, they're like, of course, that's what this friend, you know, friendships are all about, aren't they? They're really soulful and supporting and nurturing, and you know, we just, you know, it's an amazing sisterhood, and mm. we just support each other through everything. So just remember, um, you don't need to suffer alone, and that's what I found that I used to do. Like picking up the phone is, is so much easier said than done. But please try and remember, guys out there that you know share with your family share with your girlfriends you know if you can share with colleagues at work any time that you're feeling that you're in the head and it's all on you and with all the different ailments of the menopause which the lack of these hormones can turn us nuts with the lack of estrogen because it just turns like you know the receptors in the brain they're just all over the place but um, you know it's so important do you feel that Absolutely, and I think kind of what you're saying is just, you know, allowing yourself to be vulnerable, you know, uh, you know, drop into your heart, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, vulnerability it. is That's so important. Yeah, I get it's so much now. strength. When I write my Instagrams that are so open that I talk about, I've That's not right. slept and anxiety, you know what, the power that I get from just writing that one paragraph, I suppose when you write yours on yeah. at Neely Moore, um, her, her, her sayings and, and Neely stuff that she writes, you, you need to follow her because she comes out with the most amazing, beautiful things and everything comes from your heart and everything is love and poetry, it's really it's beautiful. It's not always like that, because <laughs> then the day gets hectic and yeah. all things come in and, and you know, it's it's that constant thing, isn't it? Yeah, like About... you really have to recheck yourself again, so yeah. you have to bring yourself back, recheck, breathe, think, start again. Overall, girls, ladies, listen to your bodies, do what's best for you, and also comment and tell me what you do for your downtime. What do you do, Nini? Um, I write gratitude lists, I meditate, I go chanting, and I do you watch a box set? <laughs> yeah, I do that as well. I do that as well. I love a box set. Yeah. And I love walking, and well. I love walking my dogs. Not that I do Walking it. in nature. Yeah, that's amazing. so good. If you can do, Walking also another nature. thing I think that's a good thing to do. If you're getting on a bus, get off two stops before your work. Now the weather is getting good. It's a great um, yeah. I would just stop and I'd walk for that 20 minutes if you can. All right, guys, thank you so much for being with us today. Neely Moore, thank you for coming in and being in the, the M&M hub for the morning. And... Um, Good luck with the bubba. Thank you. Which I'm going to be at the birth anyway. Well, not in the room, but you know, I'll be there. And um, yeah, thank you guys. Love you all, Menos. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <gasps> it just came. It's amazing.